Can you do affiliate marketing without a website? Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Alex and welcome to my channel. Blogging is awesome where I share tips on how to succeed blogging or running a niche site and monetizing with affiliate marketing. And in this video, I want to address one of the most popular questions that I get asked by my subscribers, by my followers. Can you do affiliate marketing without a website? The short answer is yes, you can but there is a pretty extensive but, some nuances that I want to share in this video because it's super important to understand why it's not a good idea to do affiliate marketing without a website. So basically you have two options to do affiliate marketing with a website and to do affiliate marketing without a website and let's look into each one of these options and first let's look into the options of affiliate marketing without a website the main advantage let me cover the advantage first and the main advantage of doing affiliate marketing without a website is basically that you don't need to spend any money you can uh, promote affiliate products using social media like instagram pinterest uh, youtube some uh, uh, maybe facebook facebook groups or pages or uh, write in the comments as well some you know promotional kind of informational uh, comments and inserting your affiliate link so this is the only advantage that there is that you don't need to set up a website that you can make a sale uh, pretty quickly maybe if you go uh, the commenting route not the social media uh, way because social media demands even more time to make your first money than if you were to build your website so to sum it up the advantage is that you don't need any expenses the disadvantage of doing affiliate marketing without a website the main disadvantage is that it's not a sustainable model of business you cannot even call it as business because you don't have your own platform even if you create a social media account like youtube or instagram or facebook you are putting your and, and the city you don't have a website you don't have you don't build your email subscribers base the truth is that you're putting yourself putting your entire business at risk at mercy of the social media because i personally know a lot of people that lost everything that they built in social media with like using social media accounts only just overnight just like that overnight simply because at some point that platform any like i know many cases with youtube with instagram with with facebook with pinterest as well that any of these platforms overnight decided that your account is against their policy that they don't want your account on their platform and that's it they just ban your account and that's just that's it all your sales all your money that were coming in through that social media account disappeared just just like that and that's it there you had a business yesterday and you don't have your business today anymore would you like that it happened to you this way and that you didn't have any chance to get to your subscribers that you had them yesterday and to communicate that you created your uh, new account or uh, you know invite them to join your other account or visit your web website you just cannot do that simply because they disappeared your account disappeared and you don't have any other form of communication with your followers with your buyers with your subscribers so this is the main disadvantage and the last point of doing affiliate marketing without a website the last point of disadvantages of doing affiliate marketing without a website is that sometimes not even sometimes but i would say more often than not either way by commenting or by building social media following it takes even more time than making money with a website you really need to put a lot of effort and uh, if we're talking about commenting you're putting a lot of effort into nowhere because the comments that you write below the news for example 
people see these comments, read these comments, and you have a chance that somebody will click your link and uh, go buy the product that you promote only like within maybe a couple of days, maybe a week maximum, because after that news gets buried in the history, in the archives, because news are coming out every single day and on blogs is the same thing. If you are commenting on the new articles, on the new blogging articles, then uh, the vast majority of those don't get a lot of traffic. They get traffic just the first couple of days when the fresh content got published. And after that, it just got buried into the uh, in the archives of that website. But now let's talk about advantages and disadvantages of doing affiliate marketing with a website why it's better and why it's worse than the first option. So the advantages of doing affiliate marketing using a website. And you have pretty much two options of doing affiliate marketing using a website. The first one is uh, you can create a landing page, a landing page to collect emails. You can call it a squeeze page, a landing page, or uh, yeah, pretty much these two options. And uh, what you do, you drive traffic to your landing page and you collect emails. You collect emails of your loyal fan base, of your loyal subscribers, of your loyal potential customers or active customers. And uh, you keep their email addresses, you collect them into your autoresponder database and you can communicate with them. You send them value, you send them um, valuable information, some tips, some, uh, you know, you share your experience, whatever you are trying to sell, with, depending on your niche, or you just recommend them the products that you consider the best on the market. So you have a chance to communicate with them is the first thing. Uh, the, f the second, the most important thing, as soon as you collect their email address, their contact belongs to you. Nobody can delete your account. Nobody can take the, uh, their email, the, the, this database of your loyal subscribers from you. Now, the second option of doing affiliate marketing business with a website is obviously running a blog or a niche website. This type of website is my personal favorite because you build content, you publish content that attracts the audience, that attracts people, it ranks in Google, it generates free traffic in the end, uh, substantial long-term traffic, you don't need to add a lot more content every single day just like you do in social media, like on Facebook for example, you need to publish some fresh content every single day uh, to be active and uh, you know, so that to, to, to generate traffic. But when you publish content to your website and uh, rank it in Google, then eventually, as soon as you rank in Google your website, you generate traffic every single day constantly without like touching your website, without publishing fresh content. You can just publish like, you know, 50, 100 um, or 100 articles and forget about it. You just, the only reason why you want to publish more content is to increase the amount of traffic that you get. Your website in this case is 100% your own website that nobody can touch because the content belongs to you, the website belongs to you, you are the only owner, 100% owner that can do with your website whatever you want. You can sell your website as well, you can, uh, you know, you can promote any products on your website, you can run affiliate marketing, you can create and promote your own products, you can do whatever you want. And in addition to having content and generate, generating uh, pretty much free traffic from Google, you can also collect emails and increase your subscribers base to increase even more money to have these contacts of your loyal fan base. And in addition to that, you can create social media accounts and increase following in social media as well. But unlike the first option, the first scenario where you were doing affiliate marketing without a website and you got banned or just removed from social media platform, in this case, your subscribers, your social media platform followers know where to find you. They know what kind of website you run. 
because you have your website in social media profile and they know you by your website. And in case if your website disappears, they know where to find you, they will come to your website and on your website you will let them know that you have a new account, for example, in social media. Or if you were collecting their email addresses, then you can just send out an email address to your local loyal subscribers to let them know that you have a new social media account. So if you consider these risks, so if you consider all the possible risks that can happen, this option is the best and risk proof, uh, pretty much option, the best, the safest option that you can go for. As to the disadvantages, the only pretty much disadvantage is that you need to spend a little bit of money on hosting and domain name and that's it but hosting costs um i don't know the the current price uh, the hosting company that i personally use a2 hosting is about like three or four dollars per month uh, but you get uh, 51 percent off the first payment so you can like if you buy for a year two years or three years i think they sell up to five years you can save 51 percent of the first payment so if you pay for the entire five years then you pay like pretty much half the price for the next five years but also if you want to pay month by month then you can pay like four to eight dollars per month for hosting and the domain name costs about 10 to 15 dollars as well you can uh, buy with a2 hosting as well they sell the domains to get the discount that i'm talking about you can find the link below this video in the description it may seem to you that it's super expensive that you don't have even like ten dollars per month to spend on this website but think of how much money you will be making in a year from this day from today when you first build your website and publish your content even if you will be making $100 per month, only $100 per month, it's nothing in one year of time of running a website, then you will have to deduct these $10 per month to maintain the website and that's it. All the content you can write yourself, you can promote your website, your content and rank in Google without any expenses, nothing like that. You can use free social media, and so on and so forth. So guys, from my personal experience and my personal re recommendation is to do affiliate marketing with a website. It is way safer option and you will be able to make way more money than just running affiliate marketing without a website. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button below. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. I will be happy to answer all your questions. Consider subscribing to my channel, blogging is awesome. A lot more cool video to come about affiliate marketing, blogging and running a niche site. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.